The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game finally dropped on August 18th. Yes, August 18th. That's when I started recording this game. Anyway, you can play as either family or victims. The goal of the family is to kill the victims, and the goal of the victims is to escape wherever map you're on. This channel is all about getting platinum trophies, and of course I had to get Texas Chainsaw's platinum trophy. This trophy is called Forever Texas. Now this isn't like any normal platinum trophy video. There's so much content baked into this video. I created a bunch of timestamps everywhere. Somebody even got banned off of PlayStation. I hope you enjoy. As I was recording this video, nobody had the Platinum Trophy like whatsoever, so I was excited to get into it. I was hoping to be one of the first, but there's 52 trophies, and as I'm editing and as I was like playing the game, I was like, where do I start first? Do I start off as victims and play as one of the many victims there are in the game, or do I start off as family and play as many of the family members? There's Leatherface, there's the cook, there's Hitchhiker, there's Johnny- uh, God, I hate Johnny- then there's Sissy. I decided Leatherface would be a good start to play as, and then we got a bunch of general achievements and a bunch related to Leatherface. That was our first couple of trophies that we got. So our first one's called First Blood, and it's execute the first victim in a match. Simple enough, it seems. Then there's Welcome to the Family, which is execute your very first victim ever. Okay, pretty easy. Running, jumping, climbing trees. Just spend skill points in the unlock tree. Okay, not too bad. Dog will hunt. This is destroy 10 objects as Bubba. That's actually pretty easy as well and the saw is family which is reach max bond level with grandpa now our first game was a complete another bust there was only one execute that we got in the entire game and it wasn't even from us it was one of our teammates that got it so we didn't get any trophies we did however get a lot of level and we were able to get running jumping climbing trees simple enough <laughs> oh i got an achievement for oh i'm going savagery oh let's do it i don't even know what i'm doing for a second game, I decided it'd be a lot more enjoyable if I recruited the boys to hop on with me. So I got my boy Gabe, and I got my boy Roland in it. And for some reason, on the second match, I decided it would be hilarious if I just, for some reason, roleplayed as Leatherface. And, um, yeah, please bear with me as we try to go through these trophies. <laughs> I'm so confused where I am, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, for my second match, I still had no idea what I was doing, so I just decided to destroy everything in the basement. At the time, I didn't even know it was a trophy to destroy a bunch of stuff. I even overheated on the end. That just shows how new I am at the game. And as I was chasing the end still, I was still high on the trail, I ended up getting Dogs Will Hunt trophy. I even hit her a couple times, which resulted in her bleeding out, and I found her, so I was able to get the Execute trophies as well. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I found <Yeah>, you! <laughs> nice. As the game continued, in retrospect, I was so useless for this game besides the one execute. My teammates did all the work, Gabe and Rola did all the work. I went to go look for a bunch of survivors. I ended up finding the Leland completely by accident. And my teammates, Gabe and Roland, got Grandpa to level 5. And we got the Saul's family trophy. <laughs> you just made the biggest fucking mistake of your life, buddy. <laughs> you two fuckers just made the lousy mistake. <laughs> you two fuckers just made the biggest mistake in your lousy career. We got a couple more trophies as playing as Bubba or Leatherface. I don't know why people call him Bubba, so let me know in the comments why. Um, I really don't know. Anyway, it's you spell champion wrong, you get a kill on a victim in 30 seconds of the match. You have to get that as Leatherface, no other way. Then he was the greatest ever, which is feed grandpa 10 times in total. You can get this on everybody. I just ended up getting it on Leatherface. And I thought the 30 second killing the victim was impossible until, well, this happened. So as I ran through the map, I was like, okay, I'm not finding anybody. Then I went through this magical door and found a Leland just AFKing, and I hit him over and over again, and I was finally able to kill him in the first 30 seconds of the match, getting the trophy. Hey, I killed him right away! I killed him in 30 seconds of the match! Let's go! I killed him! Oh, no! Now this is Grandpa's honest reaction to being fed. I'm about to fucking nut! Let's go. Let's go. It was the greatest ever beat grandpa ten times. 
Our very last trophy that's centered around Bubba or Leatherface is hung on you. Execute 10 victims in total on Gallows as Leatherface. So you have a special animation and prop. You get one, you find a survivor that has bled out and they're in the recovery state. And pretty much you pick them up um, after this animation and you do an animation. You have to drag them to a hook. And this hook, this special hook, is throughout the map that you can place them on. But the victim can bleed out and die when they're in your hand. So... Yeah, it's really hard to, and Bubba can also one-shot people, so it's really hard to get that for the most part. So what you have to do is either run a build that's not centered around that, or have your teammates bleed them out. Come here. It's bugging time. I'm about to bubble over. Ah! Oh, look at that green bubble. I bubbled over it. Oh, I got it. I hung up on you. I kind of lied to you guys, the last trophy we got on Leatherface is called Respect, which is have all your perks and your ability to level 3 and just simply respect. It was like 2 in the morning when I got this trophy and I don't know what I was popping off about. Respecting. Yeah, we found all my points, bitch. Yay, respect the character after unlocking their PP, I guess, I don't know. Our next family member is going to be the Hitchhiker. The Hitchhiker is very versatile in a lot of ways. One, he can move really fast and attack the survivors. And two, he can also set up traps around the map which block survivors from getting certain objectives. We're going for, I got one and I'm coming for you. I got one is to catch a total of five victims in his traps. And I'm coming for you is just going through a bunch of stuff as the Hitchhiker. Alright, so his traps, I just trapped a lot of random stuff the entire time, like for instance the door, a bunch of other places, and most of the time you don't even see when somebody hits the traps, you just get a pop-up notification like this victim snared, and then you know somebody got trapped. For me, sometimes I actually made them run into the traps, which was nice, eventually I got the trophy this way. Werewolf of a turtleneck, dog. I just be fucking fly ass Steve Job, fucking werewolf. Oh yeah, I got a fucking, I got five people in my traps. By accident, let's go. Alright, this one's relatively easy. There's no way you can miss it unless you just don't do it. You go through one of these little crawl spaces, you go down a ladder, you do this all in one game, by the way. And then you also slide yourself through this little gap right here. All in all, it's a very easy trophy to get, but now we're gonna hop on to our next family member. You think this is a party? All right, now we're playing as the biggest Chad, the cook, the cock, the cook, whatever his name is. We're going to be going for I Hear You, which is successfully spot 10 victims with his hearing ability, Safe and Secure, which is at 10 padlocks, and Get Back Here, which is win four close encounters. So pretty much how we start off with the padlock ones, this one's super easy to get. You can just spam over and over again on the same door with the same padlock. Easy. If not, you can get this naturally through gameplay if you don't want to just rush the achievement by just playing a bunch of games and putting padlocks on. Other door over here. Let's go, safe and secured. Put at least 10 padlocks. Now for the cook's listening ability, all you have to do is just spam it on the same victim over and over again, or you can just do what I did and just do it when they're in mid-chase, and then you get the trophy relatively easy. Hey, I got the I can hear ya. Hey, nice. Alright, cool, I don't have to play as the cook no more. LIAR! Now this one you could play as anyone but Bubba Whip, but this is the getting the close family encounters winning them. What I use is Suffocating Grip, which is a close encounter minigames, it's 20% easier, it's a grandpa perk. Um, honestly, this is the only way I was able to win this, because survivors with high strength will almost always win every single time. It's such a pain in the ass. So we're going mainly looking for a couple survivors we have to go after. Connie and Julie are a go-to. They're the easiest to have the lowest strength. The ones you don't want to go for at all is Leland, ah! Anne, and Sunny. They have high strength and high endurance. Meaning you'll lose like 9 times out of 10 these things, but sometimes with Suffocating Grip, you'll mainly win. Like, I relatively didn't lose most of these uh, close encounters. But the issue is having them engage it. Like, you have to have the survivor engage those close encounters. Now, I, ha I won against Anne, and I didn't know Cook did a little dance after he wins it. I didn't realize how good Suffocating Grip was for this trophy. I even won against a Leland, which shocked me to all hell. I got him! I won an encounter! And it was a Leland! Let's go! Holy shit! One more! I need one more! The Julie tried to stab me in the back, but somehow she messed up and got me into a close encounter, and I was able to finally get the trophy. Alright, our next family member, uh, the biggest 
beat Sniffer ever, Johnny. I hate Johnny so much. Anyway, we're going for Can't Hide From Me. That's the only one we get with him, which is to analyze five victims' footprints in total. That's it, because I refuse to play as his crap family member. Now, all you have to do is sniff feet. Yes, all you have to do is just run around the map, look for the feet marks. Sometimes they're survivors. They'll be in the middle of a chase. They'll be in the middle of getting killed. You can sniff their feet very quick as they die. That's it. That's how you get the trophy. But back to a better family member, we're going to be playing as the sissy. We're going to go for Can't Keep Me Out, which is successfully op barge open a total of 10 latch doors. Don't touch poison 15 victim pickups like tools, bone scraps, health bottles, and powder burns, which is confused two or more victims simultaneously. Now, this is a little bit more tricky to do, but we're going to start off with Don't Touch, which you just go around the map and you can just poison all the health bottles. Eventually, if you poison enough health bottles, it'll tell you the item has been poisoned, and then you can easily get the trophy for it. Yeah, I totally forgot to unmute my mic here, so this is my recreation of my reaction. Oh my goodness, I got no touch! For Can't Keep Me Out, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just latch a door, go around the other side, break open the door. You can repeat this until you run out of latch doors. Easy enough. Alright, this one's a little bit more tricky. Powder burns. I have no idea how to get it normally in a guide. I managed to get super lucky and get these two people who are coming up a ladder, but you can probably get it in a private game relatively easily if you have four people or more. That was all playing as the individual family member trophies. We're going to be moving on to the ones where you can play as any family member relatively and pretty much do certain specific things that you need to do with an exact team. Alright, we completed every single individual family member that we needed to play as. Leatherface, Cook, Hitchhiker, Johnny, and even Sissy. Now, we gotta move on to even the harder stuff. Yes, this is way harder than all the other individual ones. Those are kind of more of a grind fest. These require some level of luck. For instance, as you play as the family member, as you play as Bubba, whoever, you can get this as, once again, whoever. This trophy right here is so hard i had to go into a private game this trophy is called get out of here which is drag out 20 victims from inside hiding objects most people on high mmr do not hide whatsoever in these objects they kind of just run around and hide behind closed doors in order to start a private lobby you need at least four players to play so you need to have four friends or three other people to want to play with you and this is hard to get it actually took me a while to get my boys to hop on this because everybody is so busy and then on top of that who wants to go and help one person get a trophy thankfully these guys are awesome i love them for every second of it all you have to do is you just drag a person over and over again out of the same hiding spot since you're playing on a private game as we grind rolling over and over again in the freezer pause, I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. Yes, I have a sponsor. It's me! Come on, I'm a low channel. I don't get sponsors. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't subscribed today already, you totally should because I make content similar to this and I've been working really hard for it. But anyway, enough of my e-begging. We finally got the trophy. Get out of there. Bro, somehow I took off my headset and Tina- I got it! Let's go! Alright. Nice! Let's go. Thank you, Roland. I got the... For these next couple of trophies, we have to do all of the maps. And what I mean by some of these trophies, well, we're going to talk about these trophies. For instance, we I have like Mine on Mine, which is execute all four victims in a single match. Then in Making Grandpa Proud, which is achieve a perfect family win, which is kill all victims on each map. So we have to kill all four victims on each individual map. That's something we have to do, which is only three maps. So thankfully, it's not going to be too hard. And then we have Executioner, yeah. which is perform every execute. And So Close, which is kill a victim within 10 meters. Now, for the match where we got Mine on Mine a trophy at, I got my boys to help me out with that, and I gotta give a little bit of backstory. So back in the day, there was a Travis Scott meal, and Travis Scott recently released a new album called Utopia, and well, Gabe told me that there was a Utopian meal at McDonald's. Well, I decided to see if it was true or not, so I called during the match where we got the trophy. Um, hello, I, I was wondering, do you guys, do you guys have a special promotion going on called the Utopia meal? <laughs> Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, you guys still got the Grimace Shake? Oh. No, we don't have it. It's been two months. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It was just for like a two or three weeks. Okay, alright. Alright, well, you have a good one. Alright. Alright, all right. I love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can never go to that McDonald's again. Oh 
They never gonna ever know it again. They don't know it's you. <laughs> they don't have the, the Travis Scott mirror. No, no, no. I you dead ass you dead ass trolled the shit out of me, dude. No. All right, so for our match, we played as Sissy. Of course, we played as Sissy because she's really OP, especially during this time. And we randomly stumbled in the basement uh, against the Julie because it made so much noise. We were able to kill Julie off right away, and then I randomly stumbled upon the Connie trying to lockpick one of the crate doors, and we just instant able to kill her. Now we have two more left already. Now these last two that we had to go look, they were a little bit tricky, honestly. They were a little bit kind of conniving. The Anne, well, the Anne immediately got me into a close counter fight, which I, of course, lost that because Anne is really, really good in terms of winning close counter fights. She jumped into a well right away, and then not too long after, they booked it to car battery where Leland and, and Anne were trying to get the car battery off. Anne ended up getting stuck on the Hitchhiker's Bear Trap. And Volan, I don't know if he really likes Anne or not, but he was doing some zesty ass stuff. They're stuck in again. Go, 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 go. <laughs> just body block, just body block. <laughs> yeah, body block, yeah. get out of her. I need to get these kills, boys. We're the McDonald's Travi Patty meal. <laughs> well, I gotta wait for my stamina. Got that bitch. After killing Anne, we actually fed Grandpa so we could find Leland right away and he wouldn't escape. And well, we quickly bound him. I see him, I see him, I see him. He's trying, trying to get, get the bell. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Fuck off, I damaged him. Okay, okay. Once again, shout out to my friends because they really made this achievement possible. They really helped me out and I was able to kill the Leland. Got his ass! Haha, <laughs> bitch, thanks guys. Now let's see if I get the achievement. Let's go! Mine! All mine! Let's go. Due to that one match, we had ah. to get one of our main criteria we needed to get done. We got four kills on gas station. We had two more maps to go. The next one was going to be Slaughterhouse. Now, this one we were going to get, but we had a DC happen to Julie immediately disconnected on us in the beginning of the game. But we were able to get the trophy so close completely by accident by just having Anne, who was next to one of the pressure gate valves, die. I ended up killing her, and we ended up getting it completely by accident, even though it was a trophy at the time. Oh, dude, wait, there's one more left. Hey, kill a victim while they're 10 meters away from the exit, even though it wasn't open. Our next map was Family House, and we played the Hitchhiker because we needed to get certain executes. One was Hitchhiker that we were missing, but before we did all that, we wanted to get the 4K on Family House. Now, I set up my traps everywhere throughout the map, and I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was useless. My teammates carried me. The randoms carried me. Besides me hitting a couple people and getting one or two stuck in a bear trap, Leatherface did majority of the work. The Julie, I, she died right away and then disconnected after, which still counts, and then Leatherface just completely carried during this match, the, both of the teammates. I even AFK'd because I was so bored at this point. They literally, their backs were hurting from carrying me so much. Anyway, we were able to chase the Anne, and we were able to get all the execute things that we needed. We did Leatherface, we did uh, Sissies earlier, and then we did the Cooks, as you've seen before, when we were doing the uh, the Close Encounter wins, and then we did Johnny's off, off camera. I mean, come on. I'm glad Bubba censored this way here, but we were able to finally get all the execute ones against the end, which is really nice. Yes. We only needed one more 4K after getting the family house one done, and that one was the slaughterhouse. Hopefully no one would DC, but this time I got my boys back onto this job. Alright, Gabe was playing as Bubba, and I was playing as Sissy, and Roland was playing as Hitchhiker, and so our goal was to get as much blood as we can so we could feed Grandpa, so we could rush down in the basement right away, and that's what we were able to do. I, able, I was able to get enough blood and then find everybody. They were just, I don't know why, but they were just all by each other, and they all got caught by Grandpa. Now, granted, I made a lot of faults during this match, too. Like, I, I opened the door for them, which they could have easily ran out of. I don't know why they didn't. They weren't really the brightest. I have no idea what was going on in this match. I was able to put constant pressure on the sunny and the leland ended up getting the sunny killed by going through the crawl space so he couldn't even escape and then i ended up finding leland and then volan ended up stealing my kill i got no way don't steal my kill volan you I'm son sorry. of a bitch you I'll... bitch you stupid bitch <laughs> god damn it volan i chased that guy all the way in the basement <laughs> 
I managed to randomly find Akani just wandering around in the basement still. Don't know why she never left, but I ended up getting her really quickly. She was trying to door tech me, which just slammed the door on me. We ended up completely destroying her, and then we got the grandpa to level 5, once again to find the last victim before they could escape. And I can't tell you how lucky we were, because Anne was already doing the car battery, and if it wasn't for grandpa getting to tier 5, we would have never known that she would have escaped. She ended up jumping down the well, and ultimately bleeding out, giving us the win, and making grandpa proud. She has to be incapacitated. I don't need to get more blood. Now go grab She's all dead. my traps. Yes, my making grandpa out. Achieve a perfect family with killing all victims in each map. All right, slaughterhouse is done. We got making grandpa proud. We're on to the last trophy for family. Finally. So now we're doing serial killer, which is execute 100 victims in total. And if you've been doing the other trophies, you're probably already halfway there, which we were. We just needed a couple more kills. So I'm going to take a little break from my voice and just show you a little montage of it. Alright, now we are on the victims, but we're gonna have to go back in time because I, when recording this, just kind of went all over the place. So we're going back to when we first started playing the game. I first started off playing as the victims right away, and we got behind the curtain, which is a get your first unlockable. This we got as soon as we played as the victim, and we won our first match, which is relatively easy to do. We ended up escaping as Connie because they didn't turn on the car generator. This is before the update where you didn't need to do that, and the gate was wide open, so we just ran out like crazy, and then. And after Sunny got killed, we were able to get that trophy. Yeah, they got a two. They got a two kill. Our next one we are going for is Tread Softly, which is avoid being detected by Grandpa for a whole match, and Lone Star, which is reach level five with a single character. These are so easy to get; it's really hard not to get these, honestly. So for the Tread Softly one, all you have to do is don't be detected by Grandpa, so you just stand still the entire time. Usually, like when the Grandpa wakes up and he makes a noise, he screams, and you can just stand still. If you want to be on the safe side, wait like a minute or two after this happens. But we we're able to get out super quick. This is also our second match, and. And I was able to just go out back through the door because everybody was new and they had the generated battery open again and they were also AFKing which I found out. So we were able to get out super easy and we were able to get tread softly. I got it. We out! We out again! We out again! We out again! Let's go! Let's go! Damn! She's taking shit! At this point I grinded on the family for a little bit and get a bunch of level until I got Leland to level 5 getting a lone star. Well, I just got a team called Lone Star. Reach level 5. Despite you playing as a victim, you can actually defend yourself. They're not completely helpless. There's actually two trophies related to such. One is called Fighting Back, which is successfully perform three sneak attacks against family members. And then another one, which is sneak attack all family members in a single match. We are able to do this both in one game. The first thing I did when I started, I grabbed bone chips because that's what you need to fight back. And we were able to find this Bubba. I don't know what he was doing. I guess he was guarding the gate as soon as he went for blood we immediately sneaked attacked him so that counts as one right there and then we were able to sneak attack him again as soon as he opened the door and we got out the exit we didn't even need to pick the lock and we shut the door on him on top of that and i shut the door in his face <laughs> i got his ass i'm out i'm out of the basement as soon as I made it to the surface, I immediately grabbed another bone shift and hid in the bushes, waiting for a family member to come by so that way I could get my third backstab on him. Bitch! Haha! <laughs> I got his ass! I'm out! <laughs> I stopped the technique shit out of him! After I backstabbed the cook, Leatherface saw me do the whole thing, so he's hot on my trail, so I had to escape him. Somehow I managed to shake him off me, and the last one I needed was Johnny. Oh man, it was so satisfying to hit Johnny, because I really, really hate him. But we got the trophy after we got him. God damn bitch! Ugh. That's what you get for killing my boy! 
Despite our bullying, well, karma really hit us hard because we jumped down the well and Bubba was there waiting for us. And, well, he, he really didn't like us and we ended up dying, but at least we got two trophies in the process. We're going to be focusing on Leland like I said before. The trophies that we're going to be focusing on and that we got with Leland is Bringing On, which is win 4 Close Encounters as a victim in total, and Shoulder Barge and Stun 10 Family Members. That's all you have to do is use his ability and stun 10 family members we're doing bring it on because leland has the highest strength in the game and it actually helps out so much to win close encounters and this is how it played out Yo, I just knocked two of them out at once, and I stabbed Grandpa. Let's go. I knocked his ass on the ground. I'm gonna try to... Fucking knock his ass down, bitch. How'd you, how'd you get back up there? I found a door. Fuck out my way, nerd! I'm being chased by the fucking hitchhiker. The final trophy that we got on Leland was called Team Player. I forgot to mention it. Team Player, all you do is heal your teammates three times. You can even heal your teammates when they're full of health, and it still counts for it, by the way. It's super easy to get. Yes. Thank you. Right here. Connie. Over here. What do we have here? As Anne, we were able to get two trophies, which one was her ability focus trophy, which is get rid of the... Uh, poison effects four times while using your ability, and another one which is called Nowhere Left to Hide. As a victim, hide in a freezer, locker, wardrobe, trunk, and car trunk. For Anne's purge ability, there's one big, big issue. And the big issue is you need to have a sissy in your game in order to purge the poison effects because nobody else in the game can poison a victim but sissy. But how you get rid of the poison effects is you can go around the map trying to get all the health sprays or health kits or whatever and it'll have a poison effect. You can use it there or you can use it on the clouds if she does the clouds on you. And sometimes she can even do it on hit, which every now and again it doesn't really work, but it can work that way. It got to the where I would either pray that Sissy would just spray her poison cloud on me during the exit gate if I escaped, and if not, I had to book it and run towards her cloud in order to get the trophy. Yeah, I got the achievement, I don't give a fuck if I die! Now for nowhere left to hide, this is super easy. Just hide at a trunk. You can even have the family members be chasing you the entire time and on you. But just go and hide in all the areas you need to, and then boom, you get the trophy. Super easy. I don't really need to explain it at all. Yeah, we went in the sunflower seals in the back. Hey, nowhere left to hide. I got a human out of here. As our boy Sunny, we got two trophies as him. One is Fixer, which during a single match, stop the generator, fix the fuse box, and open the pressure valve. And then we got All Knowing, which is use his ability and track all family members in a single match. Somehow, we got this in one single match. So how I got the All Knowing is I rushed upstairs immediately, and I ate so much aggro. I ran to the main house, and I made sure Grandpa detected me, so that way they all saw I was there. Then I used his tracking ability while I knew I was safe. Alright. Oh, I got them all! That's all I wanted to get! Thankfully, another one of my teammates did the aggro and I was able to get a lockpick to open the fuse box. And Roland had the fuse. I had my boy Roland with me and he had the fuse so he was able to stick it in right away and I was able to set it up. But I grabbed another lockpick just to be on the safe side. And I did the little mini game where you had to solve it and we ended up opening the basement exit and we got that one and the next one we needed was just a generator i opened the door right away with that lock pick and i hit the generator i don't know what they were doing in this game they just let me do all this stuff and i opened up the gate again for roland so that way he could escape and then i did the pressure valve finally after grabbing the valve i think this is the last thing i need to get unless i need to turn off the car battery then i gotta run across the map nope i got it oh i got all three let's go oh Despite opening up every single exit that we can and getting two trophies in the process, we still ended up dying by bleeding out. 
Our next victim we're going to be playing as is Connie, and we're going to be going for the fully focused trophy, which is use the focus ability to lock 10 doors in total, and then we're going to be going for last victim standing. As last victim standing, survivor 3 minutes to escape in a single match. So how did we do the last victim standing? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, it was kind of a miracle. I had no idea how we got to be able to do it. What I ended up doing was getting to the escape as Connie and just waiting the entire time in this one little spot so that way if they try to charge me at all i could just run straight and get the escape now i didn't time it whatsoever i just kind of just went off of you know i was like okay let me just uh go off of whatever happens happens so i got the car battery done i just looked around the map bored out of my mind you know played on my phone a little bit and then i uh went through the car made a bunch of noise as much as i can um i didn't really do it just to make the noise i kind of did it for um a more perverted reason but despite that we're able to get the trophy last victim standing let's go last victim standing yeah and i got it i got the achievement let's go i bet Fully focused, you just unlock 10 doors with their ability. It's so simple, it's so easy. I'm not going to subject you guys to that torture. I mean, it's bad enough you had to hear my voice, but we got the trophy. I got the achievement fully focused. Before we jump into the oh, we have to talk about some shit. focus victim escapes. One is called leaving family house or leaving home. Escape using each exit on the family house level. Another one is called escape artist, which is to achieve a perfect win on all victim escapes on each and every single map. Now for the family house one, there's a bunch of exits. You can typically go out the windows, but most of the time the family pressures you into the wells every single time. Something annoying I discovered while trying to get the trophy leaving home is that on the driveway you have to escape both the left and the right side of the driveway, like both sides. You can't it's not just one, you have to escape both. You have to go one and the other in order to get the trophy. We did that when we went and got the Be Like Sally trophy, which I'll drop the Be Like Sally trophy in the description below because I made a whole entire video on getting that and it would kind of just prolong the hell out of this already long ass video. Now the easiest way on Family House to escape is the fuse box. You grab the fuse, which is typically on the first floor. You do the fuse box, little mini game where you have to do basic math, which sometimes some people fail, <clears throat> me, <laughs> and you just go down the basement right away. You can just jump down the well and then go the certain path. In this case, when I was trying to escape it, uh, Johnny actually blocked it, but Leatherface uh, hit me and I was able to get out through the fuse box way. And then we also got the car generator way way beforehand for one of the trophies we have so we already had that one done and the pressure gate valve is one of the ones we did not have done then lastly we had to go to the other side of the driveway which we went right instead of left Our next map is Gas Station, where we're trying to get out of gas, which is escape using each exit on the gas station level. We actually had one of our teammates do the pressure valve for us, while as Julie, we were able to dip completely, which was really nice. Our teammates came in clutch. Then we got out using the fuse box way. This one is probably the easiest. You just open the fuse box, and then boom, we go through the basement. Now, the car generator way is a lot harder, and we're actually able to get this through Sunny, where we did the car generator, we opened up the gate, and we're able to dip. Now, escaping through the generator on um, gas Gas station, you don't have to escape using the generator, you can escape using the door instead, and you actually have to go through, like, family house, uh, both sides of the street, one left and one right way. Now, that's kind of annoying because I had to go back and do it twice, but we managed to do both of those, and I even escaped using the generator way, because why not, and I got the trophy. Alright, for the Slaughterhouse map, we got Off to the Market, which is escape using every exit on the Slaughterhouse level. We got Shh, which is as a victim escape at a level without making any noise. You need to help your teammates. And Escape Artist, achieve a perfect victim win, all victim escapes. Now, this one was a little hard because on this map, you have to have multiple escapes that are harder to lock down. The easiest way to escape is through Pressure Valve. And we also got another achievement, which is called Texas Through and Through. This is for leveling up all characters level 5, which I didn't do, so it bugged out and gave me it. So cool. Okay, for the trophy, shh, 
I ended up having Gabe with me the entire time, so that way he can open the basement exit doors, and I didn't have to wait for randoms to do it, because if you open the basement exit doors, it makes noise, and pretty much I just waited for him to do it. I didn't even need him for the basement exit doors, because I had the Anne open it up randomly, and funny enough, if you get caught, and you play as Leland, and you burst into or knock into one of the uh, family members that doesn't count as noise being made so you still can get the trophy anyway i went through the side of the slaughterhouse map towards the car battery area where i unlocked all the doors i even unlocked the gate but my boy gabe he was uh struggling so i had to go back and save him so i went back and i went to go save him come on come on go 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 go, go. i'm with you this, this way this way go 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 that door's I'll unlocked just shut that door, I'll shut that door behind me. It turns out he didn't even need my help after all, so I went back for no reason, and somehow we were still able to get the trophy, shh, even though we went back twice, and we even got called by Grandpa. You, dude. Oh, I was gonna oh. <laughs> uh, I did. Yes, I got the team as a victim. The easiest way to escape on Slaughterhouse is the pressure gate area. The area you need to go to is in the basement. Most of the time, people don't patrol it at all, unless you're in high MMR. So we immediately go and we did the pressure gate, and we were able to get a 4K escape during the pressure gate. We also, by the way, we got a 4K on the gas station map not too long ago, and then we'll later be getting one on the family house. We got that very easily by just having a full team. We also escaped through both generator ways, which I'm not going to show you because, honestly, this video is getting long enough and we, you already know the drill. Anyway, my boy Kevin ended up sacrificing himself and getting the basement door open, and I got off to the market trophy because of so it. So was Baba. So was Baba. Let me distract him. Oh, fuck, nah, I had a dip. To <gasps> oh! Yeah. I got the achievement off to the market! That was the last escape I needed. Let's go, man. You're a go for that. For Family House, I got a 4K because I had my boys with me, and I apologize in advance due to my mic. My uh, headset completely died, so I used the PlayStation controller mic. Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go, go, let's 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 go, and then this guy just kept going on and on about like, oh, enjoy the kill. And so I was like, okay, man, are you all right? He's clearly having a bad day. I was like, I'll give you a hug, homie. It's all right. No big deal. Then he proceeded to try to get me banned off PlayStation. He said I was harassing him the entire time, even though he messaged me first, which was very strange. And I'm like, okay, at this point, he's trying to get me banned off of PlayStation. Like I can tell. So all I'm going to say is nothing but good things to him. And so he, he was like, oh, you calling me dog and bragging about hitting an elder will get reported. And I'm like, all right. At this point, I know what I need to do. I send question marks and I'm like, okay, I'm reporting him first about him trying to false report me. And so I did, I reported him. And he was like, next time think before he stops uh, before sending these harassing messages. I was like, all right, he's getting reported. I'm reporting him right away and we'll see if PlayStation does somebody, something. So I hit him with the report and PlayStation said, all right, this, my report's been submitted. And then this motherfucker got banned. I banned his ass. He got hit with the hard ban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time, how about you think about sending messages to me, you damn poopy head? At this point, we got enough level on Julie to get her power to level 3, being able to get the undetectable trophy, finally, after all that time. I forgot to mention that we got doing well after grinding. Then I learned the best way to get XP in the game is just to stun door slam over and over again every single one of the family members. So we got play a level 50.
Alright, I have something special for the total escapes. I have 99 escapes, and there's a trophy where we get 100 escapes. It's called the lucky one, question mark. Well, I have four games, and I see you now I have four games where I have to be able to escape a 3v1 situation. My friends are the family, and I am the victim, and I have to be able to escape somehow. They're going to be trying their hardest, and for the first three games, they are going to be picking the map, and which they picked Family House. This was the perks I was running for it. I have something that won't alert grandpa at all in the beginning of the game. I have something that makes me take less damage by getting hit by a family member. And then I also have slamming doors on family members will stun them for 16 seconds. So we're gonna fucking troll the shit out of Gabe. Starting off, our goal was to troll the living hell out of whoever was Leatherface. We were going to door slam them over and over again and even drop a few tea bags. I just really wanted to get a funny reaction out of them, considering how I was recording for this. My plan wasn't really to escape the first few games. And, well, let's see what the boys had in mind. What was their big goal and plan in mind? The two gates. The front and the back gate. Alright? I need... Uh, Jen or no? Or you yeah, also I'm, gonna, Jen? I'm gonna camp Jen and front and f like i'm gonna be camping the generator and car party the battery yeah okay. i need one person to constantly be upstairs checking the gen the 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 fuse the fuse box if i couldn't escape whatsoever in these next four games i would not get this trophy and i would not earn the platinum trophy so let's see who has the better strategy box as much as they can but if I can put enough pressure on the fuse box I'll be a-okay and then all I have to do is just jump out of the way and dip but what Gabe's gonna do is he's gonna body block it. With some of the perks we have we can make as much noise as we can so we're gonna grab as many lock picks as we can and try to open the door while also trying to troll Gabe as much as possible and seeing what kind of reaction we can get out of him. <laughs> I'm teaming him let's go I got him all right I'm gonna get him on the stun lock Watch, he ain't ready for it. He ain't ready for it. I'm gonna make him rage so hard. No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> you eat shit. Nice. I'm keep making the hell out of him. <laughs> he doesn't know what's up. There you go. <laughs> Starting the car battery right now. He's just teabagging me. Like, I don't care if you teabag me, dog. What's it called? I can just. I know where you're gonna be at. <laughs> oh, he's over there. I know he's at. Nah, I'm dead. <laughs> the payback. Oh, I died. Alright, the payback was real. It's okay. I killed him. He's dead. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> he just—he was trying to fuck around with me in this match, but I mean. Uh... We had the same exact plan for the next game, except for we're going to be a little bit more smarter about it. We're actually going to go for the objective this time, and the one objective we're going to be going for is the fuse box. At the time, I didn't know they were guarding the fuse box that hard, so it makes for very interesting plays that happen. So as soon as we started the game, we immediately lockpicked one of the first doors to have it, the exit ready for us to go. That way, we control Gabe and immediately dip as soon as we got low health. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, door tech. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, what the fuck? There you go. <laughs> oh, I love doing this though. This is too mean. Alright. Yeah, the family, so they can come down here now, which is what I'm worried about. We got super lucky where the fuse spawned at. It spawned right underneath the second staircase where I was able to actually get to the fuse box spawn. But I made too much noise like an idiot because I was so nervous. And while well, Roland chased me to the living hell and they were actually guarding fuse box so much. So I really couldn't even get to the fuse box. And another issue arrived. They had the cook. So the cook had like key points locked down with padlock. So it forced me to jump out the window. And while well, my timing couldn't even be worse with jumping out that window. But I trapped the last light as I jumped out the window. I don't know why I did it. Just kind of did. Alright, I'll punt. Oh, man. Low on health. No! He's right here! Alright, alright, 
We can still have that. We still have that drone for it. I'm about to weave it. I'm dead. Damn it! Fuck. For our third game, our third game we were actually able to get outside because uh, Kevin forgot to put a padlock on the back door and as soon as I opened this lock right here, they knew where I was at and they were on me like crazy. And it, well, this was probably the fastest game why I ended up dying. What the fuck? Oh. For our final match, I got to choose the map, and I chose Gas Station Night because it's harder to find people on Gas Station, and I was going to use that to my advantage, but instead of playing a stealth character, just in case I got caught, I would have Leland's Shoulder Barge. Let's see what the guy's strategy are for dealing with me on Gas Station. Ew. Yeah, you're forced to be on Gas Station. Y'all forced yeah. me to be on Family House. No, 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 we're not worried about it. Worried about it. Just yeah, yeah. Do not matter. Okay, somebody needs to be on the, somebody needs to be on the door. Somebody has. Go. Well, he's back. I'll I'll go. Go. I joined a vlog party. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, get out of here. They made one fatal error. Kevin accidentally switched to Johnny, so they didn't have the padlock locked down. So let's get into the final match. I'm gonna do pressure here, because that's like the best way to go. If I get really good spawns, I'll be alright. Alright, get out of here. He's killing an end. Anna, whatever the hell her name is. I have something for grandpa. Uh, grandpa. My main goal was to get the pressure valve, but I couldn't find the pressure valve anywhere. I think I had a terrible spawn for it at this point in time. I don't know where it was at. So I decided I was going to open up a bunch of gates so that way they thought I was at those locations trying to do different objectives rather than the pressure valve. So I was forced to go into the family house to get a lock pick and I ended up working on red crates gate and this is where I got spotted at. I was working on this for a while because my Leland's proficiency was super low, but I was hoping I can use everything else to my advantage, and when I got caught, well, I figured everybody was on high alert, so my game plan here was to rush through the gate and find the pressure valve and grab that and then jump down the well. I had to do that. If I didn't do that, then I probably was going to lose. Oh, he's up by means, by means, by right, means. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let him do anything. Coming. Where he going, where he going? He's over by car, he's over by car. He didn't pick the lock, I opened it. Yeah. Knock me down, knock me down. I had the well protected. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing like right yeah, next to the well. No where he can go. Oh, he has to pick, pick up the fuse. Yep, he picked up the fuse. Cool. Woo. The worst part about my plan is there was no pressure valve. I had to rechange my plan during the middle of that whole chase scene. I found the fuse, so I was like, you know what? I guess I have to go for fuse box now and go into the basement. That was my number one goal. And I somehow was able to get the fuse box open and actually able to get the basement open. Due to Bubba, aka Gabe, he was going for blood for Grandpa and he didn't know I was there. My stealth was at 100. I uh, locked in, I went through the old gate. Basement, basement exit basement. is ex what? open. What? I'm right here. He's going down oh, the well, okay. Go down that fucking well. Woo! Alright, Chrissy, right in front of me. Right in front of me. I gotta hurry up before he gets here. He pushed me last oh, second. No. Oh, he got it. Fucking bitch. I got out! Yes! I'm ready! Yes! We did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! We fucking did it! Man, they were trying their hardest. I wonder what they did wrong. Let, let, let's go see what, what they messed up with. Oh, he got us. King! Bro, yes, King! King. Yes! Did you, did you give me that? Did you give me that? I was fucking around. I went to go get more blood because I was bored. Uh, oh uh, my I, god. You had... You had the worst spawn ever. Yeah, I know. I, was, I know. I was so bored. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to wait for roll anymore. I started going and collecting blood. And the second I left the fuse box to go and get blood, you went to open it. I really can't believe that we won that. Like, looking back on the footage, I really, I'm still shocked. I was so nervous for all four of those matches. Our boy Leland came in clutch and we're able to finally get the platinum trophy after this super long video. So the last two trophies we're missing is one is play public games and another one that was bugged is called Perking Up, which is have level three abilities and level three perks and just play a game where um 
three, level three ability and level three perks. Those are relatively easy to get. <laughs> the vibration. <laughs> oh, I played 74 public matches. Let's go. Finally, this video is done. This video has took me two months straight to edit, and it's probably my best edited video. And I'm glad, because now I need to make up space for our next video. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video. I know I'm saying video a lot. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all. And until next time, this is Cronor, signing off. Bye! Talk to come, bro. We gotta go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life so many times. <laughs>